Hey there, friends and family. It's our seniors last week, and I know all of you didn't imagine your high school careers ending this way. We've been doing distance learning for almost two months now with the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm sorry that you've all had to miss out on a lot of the things seniors typically get to experience at the end of the year. There are probably a lot of things you've imagined for a long time, and you're not getting to do a lot of those things, or at least not in the same way. The end of the year is always an exciting time for me as well. It's a busy time for a teacher, but it's always felt like a bit of a victory lap with the seniors. For me, I usually get to announce you at prom, I get to go to your graduation party, see you at commencements and senior awards nights. I get to go to our end of the year art shows and end of the year athletic events. It's a chance to do sort of a long goodbye. And that means a lot to me. I'm very fortunate that in our small school district, I start working with all of you when you're in sixth grade. A lot of you I work with almost every day for seven years. I get to see you grow up in a lot of ways and I count myself very fortunate for that. And it's always hard seeing a group leave. But it's also a very rewarding time. One of the things that I try to do in class at the end of the year is do something of a final lesson for the senior. In my classes, we talk a lot about social and emotional types of things, about life in general, and as your high school career comes to an end, it always feels like sort of a scramble to make sure I've told you everything I, I want to tell you. Everything that I hope might benefit you. And I'm sure I've rambled on about enough things and You've probably heard me talk about some of these things before, but it always kind of feels like my last chance to give you whatever advice I have before you go off to the next chapter of your lives. So I've done the same this year. I've written a final lesson, which is basically just a list of advice. Not that... I have all the answers, you all know that. But it's things that I think and things that I want you to understand as we turn the page on this chapter. So I'm sorry we don't get to do this face to face in class this year. But all the same, here is my final lesson for all of you. I'm going to read it because I wrote this as a list so I don't miss anything. But here it goes. Really look at people. Look them in the eyes. Try to see who they are. Listen. Really listening to someone is one of the greatest gifts you can give. Don't be afraid of silences. If you can share a comfortable silence with someone, that's a good sign. Give yourself some silence, too. That's where daydreams are born. The smartest person in the room is usually the one who knows when to speak up and when to shut up. Work on that. Control your phone and your social media. Don't let those things control you. Be honest. Be kind. Avoid rumors and gossip. Don't waste time worrying about the affairs of others. If someone tells you a secret, keep it. If you're not sure if something is a secret, 
It is. Trust and respect are two things that can never be given. They can only be earned. What you want and what you need often aren't the same things. Try to recognize the difference. Create a picture of what you want your life to be. It's important to be clear about what you want. Understand you'll probably have to edit that picture along the way. Life won't go as planned. You're going to take some hits. You can spend your time worrying, but it's always the hit you don't see coming that puts you on the canvas. Keep getting up. Keep moving forward. Stay in the fight. Life can be hard, but you'll get harder. And hard people are hard to kill. The rocky and winding roads are the most exciting. People who faced hardship are the most interesting. Challenges are a lot like waves in open water. If you want to stay afloat, you have to paddle straight into them. Do difficult things. An idle life will not bring you peace. Make yourself uncomfortable. There's a difference between happiness and peace. Happiness is a reaction. Peace is a state of being. If you want peace, seek purpose, not pleasure. If you want to feel good, do good. If you want to feel loved, love others. Everything you put into the world comes back to you one way or another. Two of the most dangerous things in the world are ignorance and greed. Keep an open mind and an open heart. Never stop growing. When we stop growing, we start dying. Cut your own path. You don't need to follow anyone else. Listen to those who have gone before, but understand their paths can never be yours. Learn from everyone, but be yourself. If you want to be something, be it. Don't wait for permission. It might never come. If you want to be a writer, start writing. If you want to be a painter, start painting. If you want to be a better friend, reach out. Do it now. Don't wait. It's up to you to make your life extraordinary. And you can do it in little ways every day. Whether it's busting out a piñata in our classroom to celebrate some little achievement, or making ice cream sundaes and camping out in the living room with your kids years from now, you have the power to make each day special. <clears throat> breathe into your dreams and breathe into the dreams of those around you. Surround yourself with people who feed your dreams. People are their dreams. When you're in a relationship, you will argue, but you will almost never argue about anything of any real significance. Most disputes will be petty annoyances and conflicting egos. Keep that in mind, and don't try to win all the time. If you always have to win, your partner has to lose. Anyone who loses enough starts to feel like a loser. Tell the people close to you what you're thinking and feeling. There are no mind readers. When you fall in love, make sure your partner's favorite things about you are your favorite things about yourself. No one has a right to ever make you feel any less than the incredible person you are, and you always have a right to stand up for yourself. When someone is cold or harsh or mean or cruel to you, that says everything about that person and nothing about you. There are givers and there are takers. Be a giver. Forgive. Holding on to negative feelings is like wrapping yourself in chains. It will weigh you down and slowly break you. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning. It just means moving forward. It takes the power from the person who wronged you. You're going to have questions that don't have good answers. Still, don't stop asking. Question everything. Complaining never solved anything. Only action leads to change. Don't fear getting older. It's not so bad. 
Experience lends itself to perspective. Just don't grow up. Don't get jaded and bitter and worn down by life. Always approach life with the awe and wonder of youth. Be bold, be a little foolish, make your own fun. Walk a lot of miles and make a lot of mistakes. That's the only path to wisdom. Success is sacrifice. Consider what you want most, then Decide what you're willing to give up to get it. Create. Put something into the world that wasn't there before. It might be exactly what someone needs and that someone might be you. Your hopes and dreams are there for a reason. And it's not for them to be locked away. They were given to you because you're the one who can bring them to life. When you interact with someone... Consider how you might treat that person if you knew it was the worst day of his or her life. It might be, and you might be that person's best hope. You can never fully understand the depth of another person. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. The pursuit of empathy is the greatest human endeavor. Breathe, meditate, do yoga, lift weights, run, read, write, dance, sing, laugh, think, feel, love. Do whatever you do, but exercise your body, your mind, and your spirit. You only get one of each. Time is the most precious and non-renewable resource, yet we waste it more than any other. Time will keep passing whether we use it or not. Protect your time and use it wisely. Give your best to the current moment. That's all there really is. And once it's gone, it's never coming back. Your loved ones will die. So will you. In a hundred years, there's a good chance everyone you know right now will be gone. That's not a long time. Don't wait. Know your values. They can never be taken from you. Let them guide you, and you'll be able to look yourself in the mirror, secure in the knowledge you did what you could. Be grateful. Never complacent, but always grateful. Simplify. Break everything down to its most essential elements. Cut through the noise and be clear about your purpose in every situation. There are many different kinds of intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the most powerful. Don't bury your feelings, but don't let them rule you either. Feel your feelings, process them, and move forward. This is your life, your story. Be the hero. It's never too late. Never give up. You'll feel lonely sometimes, but you're not alone. Someone out there loves you. If you feel like no one does, remember, I do. You already have all the strength, power, love, and magic you'll ever need. It's inside you. You just have to let it out. And that's it. That's my final lesson to the graduating class of 2020. It has been one of the great privileges of my life to work with all of you. I consider myself very fortunate to be amongst the far too small percentage of people who gets to wake up every day and do something that I love. Thank you for everything that you have given me, given our school. Thank you for being role models for my own kids. I love you all very much, and I'll be seeing you.